do I see a lack of money being a problem for black women? Honestly, I don't. Because I see black women pursuing men who make the least amount of money. And black women have a lot of kids by guys who are not doing anything productive. And for those of you who don't understand what productive is, I've laid this out many times. I'm sure I'm going to lay it out many more times. When we as black men become 18 years old and we go out into the world, we have four productive options. You either get a job, you go to the military, you go to college, or you start a business. And there are a lot of black women who will have babies by men who aren't doing either of those four things. There, there's nothing else you can do to be a productive man in this in this country. Is go to college, <laughs> go get a job, start a business, or go to the military. And if that's the case, why do so many women pursue men who aren't doing any of those four or have babies by men who aren't doing any of those four? So for women to get inside of marriages, the ones who actually can get inside of a marriage, and then for them to claim that they want a divorce over finances is is just absolutely stupid stupidity. Go go ahead, Rogus. How you doing, brother? I maintain it, cuz how about yourself, bro? How you feeling? Doing great, doing great. Yo, before we get started, um, is is my uh microphone a little bit crackly or whatever? Because I've been noticing a couple of your past tapings. I don't know, a little bit distortion, so I don't want to, you know, saying break your feet or anything. You sound good to me. So that's, that's all I can tell. Yeah, I, no, I, I, I actually had a sister. Uh, actually, after my first marriage, <laughs> after my first marriage, I uh, got back into dating, and this was a chick who was in D.C. She graduated from uh, Washington, George Washington University, and all that. So. You know, somewhat high society class chick, uh, Trinidadian. So I, I didn't, I wasn't really too keen up on the whole uh, uh, black but not black type of thing. <laughs> but she had that, you know, what I'm saying pretty strong. And she actually stopped dating me in an aspect of me not making enough money. Now I was working all the time, you know, but the people who I was working for I was doing personal training. It was actually screwing me out of a lot of money because I was running a whole system and they weren't really paying me the way they're supposed to. And so we had to talk. And in the way that she said it, you could tell that she was ashamed, but she had to get over over her shame because it was a higher principle of coming to me with uh with, with the with the accountability of me making more money. She said, Is it is it bad that I that I don't think you make enough money? I said, hell yeah, it's, hell yeah, it's bad. It makes you a bad person. I'm, I'm like, what, what, why do I? Because we're always going. Well, I, I'm paying when we go out to eat. I'm like, but look, I'd rather stay home as cook, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and save some money. <laughs> but, you know, she was high class society shit. You know, out there in a certain parts of DC, they call it progressive. It's progressive, progressive, progressive. But it's like, nah, you're just trying to keep up with the white Joneses, though. You know what I mean, and mm -hmm. I think I think it's more along the line of of the um, the veneer of the uh, the uh, you know what what they say women women don't don't date the man they date his uh, his possibilities or or uh, his potential right so cats that that's that's not frugal with money and flippant with money to a woman I think to to their perspective the potential of them buying into it. That's why they go after those cats that don't really, you know what I'm saying, manage money well or 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 look like they make it in an aspect to continuously keep making it and building up. You know what I'm saying? It's it's more along, it's more along the show. And a regular, a regular cat is not finna finna give them a show. It's like you with me, we'll be, we're building, that's what it is. But they don't want the build, they want they want the ready-made relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's hamburger helper with right. these hoes. Okay. Now I'm gonna say roguish. I started hearing a little something, something after a while, but I, I, you sound well enough that I believe we can get through it. I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. It, um, as uh, to the audience, as Rogish was talking, was was uh was it a problem for y'all in the audience, or, or were y'all okay? And uh, while the audience answers that question, I'm gonna let Ernest Simmons welcome to the show, brother. I'm gonna let you go ahead and uh, give an opening statement. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. How, how do I feel about him? 
they mad when they see a man doing good, but they always complain and say they can't find no good man and everything. But when they do find one, they jealous of them. They they right. they confusing. That's why you know I, I stay in my lane. I just do my own thing. And ever since I stay in my lane, I I've been a lot of shit been getting accomplished in my life, and I'm only thirty three. Hmm. Okay. And uh, yeah. And, and I and I see that when when it comes to the black community, it seems like men can do much better on their own than they can do with a woman. But in other yep. communities, yep. when a man gets married, he's able to flourish. There's definitely something backwards going on, and there's <laughs> definitely some level of dysfunction going on, because a wife should be an asset to a man. But in the black community, can we really say their wives are assets? Okay. Mm. Now, I think a lot of women need to really be real with themselves. Are you trying to be an asset to a man? Or is your purpose of getting married or trying to convince someone to marry you is because you have liabilities that you want to push off on a man? Hmm. You know, I, I, think, I think largely that's what it is. The, the yeah. thing is, the thing is, they, they they want a good man because a good man can save them, but they don't go to that good man in an aspect of letting him know. Well, I just want you to save me. It's, it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with me being comfortable. Like I say it all the time, their com their comfortability is key to them above all, above good, above integrity, above love, <laughs> above <laughs> motherhood, above wife. It's like, you know, so I don't know. It's, it's, it's for some reason, it's, it's like they don't want to struggle. And it's like, okay, but you're black in the United States. There's going to be a specific amount of struggle. You ain't got to struggle the whole time. You know what I'm saying? If you got your motivation up, you got a good plan, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and your effort is where it's supposed to go. Nah, you're not going to struggle forever, but. I, I think I think really think they look they looking for that story, man. They they look they looking for Disney. Like my my ex wife when when we first got together, my second second ex wife. <laughs> when we first <laughs> when we first got together, we was you know speaking on you know family development and everything. I noticed that she kept coming back to the wedding, and I'm like, what's 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 so important about the wedding now? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Ernie. Oh. Just, I'm gonna tell you like this, this: this whole society is all about money. It ain't really about like what they say it is. You know, they always say, "Man, get married, do this, do that." But the same, at, at the end of the day, once some things go bad, nobody got your back. Absolutely. I mean, as as a man, I don't think we. I think most of us are already used to the fact that ain't nobody got our back. Yeah. <laughs> I do get that. So. That, that's why I I say I'm not I'm I'm very not anti marriage I'm very pro marriage, but I'm very pro marrying the right person, and uh, I think it, it's just harder for men to figure out who is actually the right person, and that's why I say to to really get with the right person, you got to find a sister who uh, who actually believes in what you believe in, already on her own. If I got to tell you. That for me, marriage means a lifetime. One of us is going to die for this to end. I need to meet a sister who actually has that same type of belief system. And a lot of sisters don't really have that same type of belief system mm -hmm. based on the ones I happen to come across, the ones I've talked to and dealt with, which is part of the reason why I'm not married. You know, a, not, a, a women haven't been showing me that they believe in marriage till death. They do believe in marriage. They believe in trying to work it out for a while. But they haven't shown me they believe in marriage till death. And if I get married, which I would not mind getting married at all, but one of us gonna die for it for it to end. But I, let me let me speak on let me speak on that part. I've been I've been noticed these days out of a marriage. That's why, you know, I, I turned red pill over the years. You know, going in and out of relationships, you know, I used to be with a chick, you know, help her pay the you know, help her pay the you know the car note and shit, stay with her. It was years ago, and I and after a while, you know, I just got tired of it. I'm like, damn, and she wasn't even working. So I was a fool at that time, you know what I'm saying? So after a while, I just stopped doing it. And I started getting back to me, and it took time. It took time for me to get back on my feet to stop doing these, stop doing these type of things. Because I heard a long time ago, it takes a real man to take care of one, but that ain't really what it is. I've been through that shit. Now we dated for like four, like about four and a half years, and then getting nowhere. 
I will see it's, it's interesting Raj, when you said like the, the quality of chick that you're looking for um that quality that quality of characteristic of one's character actually has to be like fostered from you know young age and you know they grow up with that being the value mm -hmm. so so with this you know current climate social climate as things is is not likely you're gonna really meet a sister like that well not 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 a not a an american sister <laughs> <laughs> you might need to, you know you might need to cross it, that Atlantic, cuz. <laughs> it, it, it's not a problem. If I don't meet a sister that I can marry, that's just great for my nephews. That's pretty much what's going to happen at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? If, if I have no kids, what they're going to get is going to increase. Already. So the, the way I look at it, we win it no matter what. <laughs> you know? So, and I, and I want other men to start thinking about it like that, too. Because there's a lot of us who we don't have kids. So my thing is who should get what we leave behind? I, I don't care whether this is $2 or 200 million. Right. You know, who right. should be the winner when it all comes down to it? D don't let your money just get out there where people who do not agree with you get your money and start splitting it up. You know, right. have right. a focus on where you want it to go. So my focus right now would be my nephews as long as they grow up and yes. do what yes. I expect them to do. Right. So so yeah. so so you so you saying if you can't meet that type of let's say eight oh sister here, you're actually willing to opt out of you know what I'm saying marrying all together and and you know it's it's that important for you to have you know what I'm saying sisters from around the way. I mean, if I meet another black woman, maybe I will do it. You know what I'm saying? But I do live in Chicago and in the world I live in, I do come across a a bunch of eight oh sisters. So it's not like I'm meeting a bunch of people who who um who come from other backgrounds. And then I have met a bunch of sisters who come from other backgrounds, but they are taught they are not supposed to be dealing with black American men. So you have that too. Yeah. Um, people who teach that in their family, I don't even really bother those women because yeah, you can go through the process and convince the woman to get on your team, but I got to take on a whole family anyway, if I do that. Right. It, it ain't that big a deal for me. It just ain't, <laughs> you know? Uh, Truth be told, what a lot of people ain't figured out yet, uh, being by yourself is just a lot cheaper. <laughs> it is. Oh, it I is. Exactly. <laughs> more more, I stay, more I, harmony, more peace. I stay, more I, I stay. I stay by myself and shit. I didn't gain so much that by myself. Well, uh, I didn't build up so much credit and save so much where, like, every time some got to be paid, my my uh credit take care of the rest. And I just save all my money. You know, it's different between having credit and having money put up, and it's only you by yourself. My, my my banks take care of the rest of that. So when I get my shit in, I don't have to pay it. You know, it is what it is. And I just gain more. I gain more assets of everything. Car almost paid off and everything. I ain't never been through this out of my whole like some years back. You know, and it's crazy. Ever since I've been single, you right 100. percent But the, the thing about it, I stayed down south in, in down south in Texas, and shit is crazy out here. That's why you know in Texas, it's, it's it ain't really what it is like in different other states because they grind me out this way. Yeah. You know what? It's actually interesting that you know the topic is you know for the love of money, and yeah. and if I mean a, a a good wife ain't gonna be a bill, but most most chicks is bills. Mm -hmm. That it's 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 like it's just like you're taking on you're taking on another uh, objective responsibility. Now you're going into it thinking it's going to be some lovingly subjective shit. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. nah, it, it they turned it. They turn themselves into an object, but they don't like to be objectified. <laughs> they, they, they diminish their own value, and if you try to let them know, look, you're, 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 it's, it's something about this that's a little bit off. Let's take a look. Why do you value this the way that you do? What 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 does it do for you? What do you think it's going to do for you? What do you think it's supposed to do for you? They don't want to get that deep. They don't want to get that deep again it breaks the comfortability and the comfort and the comfortability is them continuously to receive how they wish to receive hence why you know what i'm saying um when you when you got those when you got those those young cats that was a young cat in florida and he was just in the mall and i thought i know y'all probably see this video and he was asking sisters in the mall who all looked like they was getting ready to go to uh uh, uh attendees at the players ball as the host, 
You know what I'm saying? These little girls, every bit of 17, 18, and, and it's like, wait a minute, what are y'all, y'all wearing this in a mall? So, you know what I'm saying? Little brother asking them, oh, what, what, what kind of, what kind of niggas you like? What kind of niggas you like? Oh, we like niggas with the money in this. And this, and, and everything was hoish. <laughs> like, the way that they dress, the way that they talk, the, the way that they, the way that they express the values and the worth, it's like, how was